Hello, welcome. Try this problem out, and then press play, and we'll solve it together. All right, so we've got a quadratic, and it's set equal to 0, and they want to know what the solution is. So they want to know what x value would give us 0 here. And I notice that in all these cases, there is an i value. So I've got complex roots, so I want to use the quadratic formula. So that starts off, of course, where x equals the opposite of b, so b is b is already negative 24, and the opposite of that is positive 24, plus or minus the square root of negative 24 squared minus 4 times a, 18, times c, 87, okay, all over 2 times a, which is 18. So we're dealing with some big numbers here. It's a little stressful, but we can do this. So we have 24 over 2 times 18, 36, plus or minus, let's simplify the square root using our calculator. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to ignore the negative 24 and just put 24. Because I'm squaring, so positive or negative 24 squared is the same thing. So we'll do 24 squared, okay, minus 4 times 18 times 87 negative 5, 6, 8, 8. So, all right, negative 5, 6, 8, 8. And so that's a imaginary number. We're going to deal with that next. So we have 24 plus or minus i times the square root of 5, 6, 8, 8. All I did right there was say, okay, this is equal to the square root of negative 1 times 5,688, and the square root of negative 1 is i. And then I could divide by 36. Now before I go any further, I get these are two positive numbers divided, and that's going to give me a positive result. So I can cross out 1 and 2, and they start off with negative numbers. And they're actually giving you a little bit of help here. See the square root of 158 inside? So instead of having to set up a prime factor tree for this and find that, they're telling us that 158 is a factor of this number. Okay, and 24 over 36, that reduces to 2 thirds, and a cool calculator trick, if you've forgotten, you can do 24 divided by 36, and press the math button, and the first item fraction will reduce it for you. All right, hit enter again, so we get 2 thirds. So we know we started with 2 thirds, which is confirmed in the choices, but it's nice to see that in the calculator, plus or minus. Well, here over here, let's, let's go back, 158. All right, how are we gonna use it to our advantage? Well, I'm gonna take 5, 6, 8, 8, and divide it by 158, and see what I get. Sweet, I get 36, which is a perfect square. So this is i times 36 times 158 over 36. We haven't divided that out yet, but this is going to work out nicely. We get 2 thirds plus or minus i. Now, you take the square root of each of these factors, but only the first one's a perfect square. So I'm going to leave 158 alone, and the square root of 36 is just 6 times 158 over 36. And here you can see that 6 over 36 is 1 sixth, and choice 4 is the answer. So if you're given a larger problem with larger numbers like this, use the choices to your advantage. Here we can see that 158 is a perfect as a, a factor of a number, so you can use it to find what perfect square they were reducing. All right, I hope that helped.